So there is a weird phenomenon that can go on within the fragrance community every now and then. And what I'm talking about here is, you guys know the life cycle of a lot of fragrances, especially designer fragrances. These designer brands are pumping out new fragrances and flankers nonstop, and it gets to a point where they have to start cutting off some old ones simply to make room for the new ones that they're pumping out. Because from a consumer standpoint, someone who isn't super deep into the hobby, it could get very confusing. They have to try to keep their, their selections as streamlined as possible, and therefore we get discontinued fragrances. Of course, this happens over on the niche side as well, but it's especially prominent with designer brands. And so one thing that can happen is you'll have a limited edition release or just a, a fragrance that we thought was gonna be around for a long time. Stock finally dries up and then it goes out of stock, right? Because of that, it immediately becomes sought after because a lot of times people don't realize how good something is until it's taken away from you. And that's why I always try to hammer it home to you guys on the community tab when something is discontinued, like buy it. Even if you think you're not gonna like it, buy it because once that one dries up, worst case, you sell it for a profit and you've got your money back and then some. But at least you have that opportunity to have it before it's too late. And so when this happens, sometimes things will magically come back into stock. A fragrance that was a limited release five or six years ago all of a sudden just pops back up at discounters out of nowhere and you can buy it again. It's a very strange thing, but this happens more often than you think. So today I wanna to go over seven rare fragrances that you can actually buy right now. So that may sound a little bit like a, a oxymoron or something, but no, it, it's true. These are all generally hard to get, but for whatever reason right now, they've just shown back up and now you can get them at least for a limited time. So hit the links down below. If you have any interest in these, pick them up now while you can, sooner rather than later because who knows how long they're gonna be around. Now this first one, I actually can't find my bottle of anywhere and it frustrates me because I wanted to be able to show it. Luckily, it's a cheapie that just popped back up. It was a limited edition along with a whole line. So I'm gonna pick up myself another bottle anyway. But it's Mercedes-Benz Infinite Spicy and this is by Olivier Cresp. So Mercedes-Benz released uh, this line a while back and with each title, the perfumer's name was attached to it. And and so it was kind of a cool thing they were doing and I haven't seen any other brand do this. These were all limited runs. Most of them uh, are now going for a hundred plus dollars on eBay, all super rare. But this one in particular randomly showed back up on FragranceNet for like 30 bucks. Sichuan pepper, juniper berries, and cardamom are some of the main notes, so it doesn't really uh, try to hide what it's being here. It's a very spicy scent. Good dose of cardamom, nice uh, kind of a black pepper, Sichuan spiciness here. Uh, Really nice kind of warm spicy scent uh, for the fall and winter time. Especially at this price point, it's really hard to go wrong with. Nice little beater dumb reach for uh, when there's a little bit of a chill in the air. So for me, I really enjoy it. It was one where I couldn't talk about up until this point because, well, you couldn't buy it, but now you can. I think that's pretty cool. I'm sure my bottle will turn up, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up another one for myself anyway, just because why not? Nice to have a backup bottle of something that is not gonna exist forever. Going forward, I have located all of my bottles of these other ones, so that's always refreshing. Uh, up next, Roberto Cavalli, Womo Silver Essence. So this entire line, aside from the original, as far as I know anyway, has been axed. Uh, I don't know why, but it really does suck. Deep Desire, Lenote, this one. They're not making these anymore. It's got iris, cardamom, uh, tonka, and violet leaf in here. So similar in essence to the original, uh, but what I like about this one, a little bit more rich and smooth, uh, just a nice flanker. Uh, it's one of those flankers where it doesn't drift so far from the original to where it's like a whole different thing. You know, they're still sticking true to its roots here. You get into something like Lenote, and it kind of goes a little bit further. Deep Desire goes a little bit further. But what I like about this one is it kind of sticks true to this DNA, but it, it just improves upon it. I've always enjoyed this over the original. However, due to recent out of stock everywhere, type of thing going on with this. I haven't been able to feature it up until now. It's like uh, 60 milliliters for 30 bucks. A great, great deal for this. It's not gonna get any cheaper, I can tell you that. As time goes on and as stock continues to go down, the price is gonna go up. 
This whole line is worth investing into. If any of these pop up, uh, they're worth getting. Next up, we have Moogler Ultimate. So this one makes me sad because it's been on clearance everywhere, okay? It was out of stock as was, or as is most Mooglers, everything from Pure Malt to Pure Havan and everything else, everything except for the original basically, and this was included. You just couldn't pick it up anywhere along with all of those other ones. Lately, it's now been, coming back into circulation and you can get it for really next to nothing. The lowest I've seen is $44 for 100 mil, which is just crazy. I mean, really wrap your head around that. Do you remember when the big heavy hitters were going for consistently 80, 90 bucks just a couple years ago when people were still buying them up like crazy? Yeah, that's something. It's got cappuccino and balsam for a really nice entry level coffee scent. It's very wearable and it's great for the fall season. I can only imagine that this is discontinued as well. It's usually not a great sign when retailers are marking this one down heavily to get rid of it. That means they're trying to move it because they're not getting any more of it and they need to get it out of there to make room for new product to come in. So that kind of tells me that the lifespan of this one is quickly dwindling. So while everyone's trying to dump this stuff, I would get you some while you can. A more recent discovery for me, we have Hugo Boss Bottled Absolute. And this is the ridiculous 200 milliliter bottle size. This thing is absolutely crazy. Uh, it's just, feels so weird. I mean, I have a bunch of 200 mil bottles, but nothing really is the same as these Hugo Boss ones. They're just massive. I mean, it's the size of my hand, you know, that's ridiculous. It's got plum, apple, and cinnamon. And why I've taken such a liking to this one is because it is as close as I can find to Boss Bottled Intense Eau de Parfum, which of course has been discontinued. And if you have any chance to ever get that one, do it without hesitation. It's an amazing scent. It's a perfect, fantastic fall autumn scent. It smells like apple pie. It doesn't get much better than that. They took it away from us. So I've been on the hunt. There's a ton of flankers and things kind of smell similar, but to me, this one has gotten me the most, uh, I don't know, the most similarities to Boss Bottled Intense. And so that's why I like it. Fruity with the plum, and then of course the apple cinnamon mixture, giving it kind of that apple pie, um, just, just kind of smell overall. A little bit of an aromatic twist in here, just like uh, Boss Bottled Intense. It's a really nice one that really is only on discounters anymore. I can't find it on retailers. On eBay, it's going for much more money than it is on discounters. And by the way, not all discounters even have this one either. So it's a little bit elusive. It's a 2019 release. It's not like it's super old, but I just have a feeling that the lifespan of this one is also going to be uh, a little bit sad because it just really doesn't seem to be doing all that well. So as is with most exclusive editions, you really got to be on the hunt for them. And this one here is Armani Stronger With You Leather. It's an eau de parfum. Uh, this is a tester bottle, which I kind of forgot about. So they list off the notes and everything on the side. It does come with a cap. So if you ever see a tester show up, you can pick it up still get your nice golden cap. It's got leather, chestnut, and vanilla in here. It simply is stronger with you, but with a heavy dose of leather. Um, and it still is very much the stronger with you DNA. So don't forget about that. If you don't like that DNA, this isn't gonna be your magic fix because you're still not gonna like this either. But if you like that DNA and you want something more masculine because the leather is really pushing through to uh, accentuate the masculinity of this scent, then I would check this one out. If you can get it, we can get it right now, uh, but it's not always gonna be that easy. This is one of those deals, like with most exclusive edition fragrances across a bunch of different brands, where it comes in stock, it sells out, and it may be out of stock for months after that. It's just one of those things. Sourcing can be a little bit hard on these because a lot of the exclusive editions are released exclusively in other countries and, and uh, other boutiques and stuff, you know, so they can be a little bit tough to get, but if you have the chance to get one, it is definitely worth checking out. Running down to the end, Bulgari Man in Black. You're probably like, oh, what? you know, what? Bulgari Man in Black, this is talked about all the time, right? Yeah, it, it really had its fair share of hype. Uh, still probably gets talked about all the time, but if you pay attention to the market like I do, and trust me, I pay attention to the market, as I'm sure you can see by my community tab. Look, I'm browsing the discount websites every day, front to back, multiple times a day. And so what I've noticed is for the past several months, 
like since summertime, even a little bit before summertime, this has been sold out on every major discounter. That was a little bit weird for me. I'm, I, you know, I, I wasn't really believing it was discontinued yet, but they're also discontinuing Wooden Aroli and some of the others in this line. So I'm like, man, you know, I, I hate to believe it, but it's a possibility. So it was hard to get. You could not pick this one up. I don't even know if you could get it at retailers or not. And then finally, here within the past couple of days, it's finally starting to circulate again. It's starting to become back in stock on a couple of the major big discounters, so you can get it now, and I highly recommend you do so. It's Spice Bomb, but grown up with a boozy twist. Some say it's redundant to Spice Bomb. I think it depends on what your definition of redundancy is. I would wear this to a uh, formal event, hence the name uh, Man in Black. If I was wearing an all black suit, not even a suit, just a nice black outfit, or not even a black outfit. If I'm just dressed up and I'm going to a nice high-end event or luxurious dinner or somewhere where I want to be taken seriously, I would wear this, but I definitely wouldn't wear Spice Bomb. And last up, we have Armoff Odyssey Ohm. So this one, I recently did a video on, and I did a video on it because I was finally able to get it. Up before that point, I couldn't find it in stock. It was just one of those things, again, where I saw that it was you know, similar to uh, three of the major sweet iris scents, and so immediately I'm like, all right, I wanna get this at some point, but I couldn't find it. Finally, here recently, with perfect timing, it's back in stock and you could pick it up. Uh, at least on, I think, one discounter currently. Uh, it's another one of those deals where it goes out of stock, right? People buy it up, it's cheap, so people can afford to do it. People will buy multiple bottles at once, and then it's gone. And it might be gone for a week and they get more. It might be gone for several months. You just never know. So it's one that you can pick up right now. It's a great eau de parfum that smells uh, very similar to, again, three of the major sweet iris scents. And it's a hybrid of Gentleman Eau de Parfum, Dior Homme Intense, and Valentino Uomo Intense. And you know what? There's even a little bit of a Tom Ford Noir Extreme smell going on in here. An absolute powerhouse mixing a bunch of hype monsters into a $30 scent. Sign me up. All guys, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, seven rare fragrances you can buy right now. As always, uh, the community tab hears about these first because it's easy for me to shoot out a post and say, yo, something is in stock right now and you can get it. But I wanted to highlight these as well because a lot of these are ones that I've been looking for actively on a daily basis on discounters to be able to pick up, not only for myself, some of these I have before, but I was looking to see if at some point they would come into stock to where I could talk about them. Because you guys know my rule, I don't talk about or feature fragrances that you can't buy. And a lot of these here, you just haven't been able to buy. Now we can finally talk about them, at least for right now, so I wanted to make you aware of that. That's gonna do it for me, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.